Welcome back folks and today I'm going to show you this revision of an induction heater that I made some time ago replacing the transistors which with much bigger ones shown there those are larger IGBTs uh, to get resonance going in this tank circuit here which resonates around 40 kilohertz and we have our silver in a graphite crucible and we're going to use water cooling here for our uh, coil and we have a water block to cool down the transistors so get everything started i'm going to plug this thing directly into the mains and in order to do that i'm going to use a special resistor here prevent the current surge into that smoothing capacitor Let's see if it works. Everything's on. Because of the cooling block, I don't need any fans. So the thing runs fairly silently. And you can see my graphite starting to glow just barely. It's starting to glow red. Let's see when it melts. That's the temperature of my cooling block right there. 22.8 degrees, 23 degrees. The silver is melting. It's forming a liquid in the bottom. There it goes. I've added some borax to it to help it not to oxidize. Now it's formed a molten pool. As you can see there. Just starting to solidify right now. So on this test run, this thing works pretty well. And the temperature of my cooling block is just above room temperature. Here's the cooling block sensor that senses the temperature right there. So YouTubers, here it is. Tapped it out of the crucible and pure silver. Between 50 to 60 grams of it here. I wish I had more. Could sell it, but I only had a little bit of the powder that was given to me to melt. So um, this is how you do it. Uh, best way is using it a graphite crucible and an induction heater. The one that I showed you was put together recently. If you're interested in how I made that induction heater, if there's enough interest, I'll put something together uh, and create a web page for it. Anyway, uh, keep on experimenting and peace out.